What's up guys, when Apple released iOS 14, they brought many of the same features to the iPad in iPadOS. However, today we're going to take a look at all the features that are only on the iPad. So if you're excited for this video, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. So let's start with Spotlight Search, which can be easily toggled by just swiping from the top down. So as you can see, the Spotlight Search doesn't take up the entire screen anymore as with other aspects of the system like Siri, for example. It is really nice, creates a minimized view. Of course, you can type in, let's say I wanna search for Safari, okay? And it's going to create suggestions based on what you're typing. And as you can see, I just used the Apple Pencil to type in Safari and it gives me all these kind of suggestions or the app itself. So this is something we already had on the Mac, which I really enjoy and use almost all the time. So it's finally great to have this actually on the iPad. Next, let's go to sidebars. And sidebars are this new view here. So as you can see here, we have all these sidebars. You can actually close them, minimize them, whatever. And this organizes everything in a way that doesn't take the whole screen. So this is something we also had on the Mac. As you can see in the Files app, this looks really good. But of course, this is not only in the Files app, this is in the, the Files app. You have the same thing in Notes now. So if you get out of here, same thing in notes then you have the same thing in calendar if we go through here you have uh you have the same thing in the calendar right over here it looks just so much better with the sidebars right here now the next thing is purely about the apple pencil because there are many of the changes that are only for the apple pencil so if you own an apple pencil well now there are so many more uses that you can do. You can now just write and it will convert to text. Let me show you. So let's say you go into spotlight search again and you type in like, I wanna know um, seals. I, I really don't know what I'm doing, but you can really search for seals. Um, as you can see, you can either go into Safari or the dictionary or whatever here. So it doesn't take up the whole screen as well and you can just write and it converts it into a real text. This can allow you to use your, your pencil only all the time. So for example, I wanna go look for um, news now. It will convert it into text, there we go, and then it's easy peasy to just use the pencil. And of course, what you can also do is if you wanna delete, you don't have to click the delete button, just scribble over it and it's gonna delete it and you can now search for files, for example. It's gonna do the files and then just delete it again if you don't want it. You can also select text. So let's say we write Safari 101. We have like two words now, Safari non. So you can now actually circle this word to select it and you can copy or cut or do whatever you want like that. So that's just by circling. However, if you wanna make space, you just go here and you, you hold and it creates a space. So you can do, you create a space and write Safari again, for example. So now we have Safari, Safari, none, and then the space closes back up. What you can also do is tap, what you can also do is make a line and it's going to just close up the gaps or you can actually separate it works the other way around. So this is really, really cool. So now the new notes app, there is this new option right here, which looks like a pen actually, and this is an A, and this is basically for automatic conversion of text. So let's just say that I'm writing like, hello, how are you? Okay, and it automatically just converts it and I can just do, um, hello, just big, you can just literally write anywhere I am and it's going to convert all that into text, the real text. Now we have the smart selection. So let me write iPhone, um, iPad, I don't know how to spell, Mac OS, okay, just Mac OS, let's just write this. And what you can actually do now is select parts of the text, as you can see. Now, it highlights just this section or you can drag it onto the other sections. You don't have to highlight the whole handwritten part. So you just do this and then you can move it around, put it wherever you want, or you can of course, um, or of course you can duplicate or copy as text. And if you do copy as text, I go into the text page here, I click paste. Well, it didn't really convert it very well, but um, that's, that's the whole principle of that.
Now the next one is auto shapes, which I am personally really fond of. So let's say you're drawing a square and it doesn't look like a perfect square. So as you can see, it just turned it into a real square. So let's say I'm drawing like an oval, you click hold and it creates the oval in the same orientation that you draw it. So it keeps in mind the orientation of how you draw the shape. So let's say I don't know how to draw a star. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to draw a star. That's okay. Anyway, let's say let's say you do a circle and as you can see, it's not perfect hold and it converts it into a nice circle, which is really, really cool for people like me who absolutely don't know how to draw and even same thing for a triangle. Perfect. Next up is data detection. So let's say I write a phone number, right? So I just hand write a phone number, for example, and it's going to automatically highlight it as a phone number. And if you tap on it, it's going to show you all the options, what to do with that instead of actually having to write it as text, which is another really cool feature. This will of course work for email addresses, phone numbers, dates, or anything else like that. Well, these are all the main features that are only on the iPad OS 14. This is is definitely not a huge update, but it brings many quality of life improvements in your daily usage. So the Apple Pencil features are truly, truly amazing. And this is something really good because now I think you can start using the pencil way more because in the past you'd have to switch between the pencil, the keyboard, it would be quite annoying, but now you absolutely don't have to do that. Well, if you enjoyed the video, then please do leave a like and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously as well as hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, let me know which feature out of these is your favorite because mine is probably the, the shapes part, which now you can actually make shapes without them looking horrendous. Also, if you missed my previous video, then please click the card shown up there. Okay, take care and I'll see you in my next video.